Hey everybody, it is May 9th, I believe, on uh, Saturday. And today I'm going to do something completely different from what I normally do. Um, so I, I have somebody sitting in for me over here doing the, uh, the speaking uh, because my damn phone will not reverse. I can't be looking at you right now talking and then do what I actually want to be doing after I finish talking. So I'm just going to let this, uh, this individual take care of business for me. Just pretend that's me talking to you. Um, what I'm doing today is uh, during interviews, and I've mentioned it a, a number of times, my career kind of began when I was in a band called Wolfgang at the end of the 60s. Um, we were a, a local band that were managed by a, a man named Bruce Glattman, who had a company called Shady Management, which was the most aptly titled management company I could ever have imagined. Um, but he was also partnered with the, the great Bill Graham. And when we just were looking for a name for the band, we decided to call the band Wolfgang because that's Bill Graham's real name is Wolfgang. And what better way to endear yourself to your manager than to be able to name your band after him. I'm glad we didn't call the band Bill, but we called it Wolfgang. Um, and uh, it was a, it was a, an incredible fun time in my life. And we had a house in Sunland, California, that was the band house, and we rehearsed in it and spent tons of time working. Um, Bugs the drummer had a friend named John Fishback, and John Fishback owned Crystal Recording Studios here in Los Angeles. And he uh, was he was the engineer, I think he produced along, he was part producer or produced. Stevie Wonder's songs in the key of life, all the early Stevie stuff. John still is amazing. I'm, we're working with him right now in New Orleans on Judith Owen's new album. And uh, I've known John, like I say, forever, forever, over 50 years. Um, and at one of our rehearsals, he brought a friend of his along um, who had just returned from England. It was this skinny, lanky guy who hung with us and played some songs of his, and we were blown away by his talent. Well, that was James Taylor, who had just gotten back from England and where he did his first Apple album. Um, so we hung out a bit, and then that was it. I was still in college at the time. Um, the first time the band ever played a gig, um, we just sat in this house and rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. Well, Bill Graham put us on a bill. So the first time we ever actually played as a band life, we were the opening act to, to Zeppelin at Winterland in 1968. Um, <laughs> it's like, man, you guys are going in head first into the deep end. This is it. But we, we did great. We did great, man. We got great reviews and people were really blown away by the band. And so we went into the studio with um, David Rubinson and cut a bunch of demos of our songs. They never got finished. The band ended up breaking up. Uh, a lot of things went, were going on at the time. And um, so these demos never got f actually finished. Um, but I have rough mixes of the songs we did. And almost nobody's ever heard these things before. And I thought, this format is so perfect. I'm just going to share these uh, some a couple of the songs with you. I've got a bunch of them. If you really like them, I can I can put up some of the others. Um, but the the fidelity is going to be what it is because I'm using an iPhone to record off of a speaker off my laptop. So this isn't like listening here to you know like full blown headphones and how great this stuff really does sound. But I thought for one second I'm going to introduce you to to the band here. So let me swing. Oh, there's. There's Frankenstein. There's my my Warwick. Um, this is where I'm doing all my stuff in here. There's my Peace and Love, and there's my um, Dingwall. There's another one of those safety men who's looking out the window, keeping an eye on the neighborhood. This is like a, just a collective, a bunch of just crap in here. Um, but here we go. This is Wolfgang. You can tell because we had our name on the picture. This is Bryn Haworth, who came over from England. 
He's a fabulous guitarist and singer. He moved back to England, became an, like an evangelical um, artist. Um, he tours all the time in England and almost has like a ministry, I believe. Um, he's just great. He's just a beautiful soul. He came and, and, and hung out at one of Judith Owen's shows when we were over there, and we were able to see each other after many, many years, which was great. Next to him is Rick Lancelot. Now, Rick was just a maniac. I mean, he was the singer in the band. Um, he, he, he worked with Zappa. He was in Hair. He, he was on Shindig back in the 60s. Um, he, he was ch just great. Now, next to him is Kevin Kelly. Kevin was a fabulous B3 player, just um, wonderful, wonderful musician. Next to him is, I don't know, some, some squirt, some young lad. Uh, that's back in my days when I, let me see if it'll go into clarity there. That's when I had a handlebar mustache that I used to wax. It just became a pain in the ass. So one day I just cut it off, snipped off the ends and just let it all go. And next to me is, is Randy Zacuto. Now, Randy at the time was going by Israel Zacuto. Randy and I still talk. Um, he's still a great guitar player. He went into finance. is very successful as an, as an investor and stuff. But great guitar player, songwriter. And next to him is Bugs Pemberton, Warren, Bugs Warren Pemberton. Now, Bugs was English, and he was a member of Jackie Lomax and the Undertakers back in England, who kind of rivaled the Beatles. And they were just handsome. Jackie Lomax was like a matinee idol, just a beautiful cat. Um, Bugs was a wonderful drummer. Now, sadly, Bugs passed a few years ago from cancer, and uh, we were able to get together before he passed. And uh, Rick, I, I believe, passed in 1980. Um, so there's a certain level of, of sadness with this, too. Now, and for those of you who saw Quentin Tarantino's movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, when that movie ends, it's all out at the Spawn Ranch where the Manson clan hung out. And uh, that's the crux of the movie. Well, when we did another set of publicity photos, these were our photos, which we filmed at the Spawn Ranch. We were wrestling in dirt and, and leaf and garbage piles. I don't know whose idea this was, but this is when the Manson clan was actually there. We took these pictures then. So here's Bryn and Kevin, Israel, Bugs, and me. <laughs> you know, those times, you know, you just go, hey, you kids, whatever. So what I'm going to do now, though, is um, I'm going to play you. Rick wasn't there that day. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and play a couple of tunes for you and just show you what we were doing in 1969. Now, these are unfinished, and, you know, this is what it is. I'm just playing it through this little Bose speaker here. But this is um, Get Myself Together. I'll play you three tunes, and we'll see how it goes. I'm just sitting behind the camera digging this. I'm like Cecil B. Desclar, F. Scott Fitzgerald.
So that's got to get myself together, Wolfgang. And this is the bass that I played on that, which is the bass I used on the first James Taylor records, on Spectrum, on so many records uh, in the very beginning of the 70s. Um, now I'm going to do... Uh, now that was Lenny Lee singing after Rick Lancelot left the group. Um, Lenny joined us, and he also played keyboards with us, too. But Lenny, uh, his name is Lenny Goldsmith, and he's still gigging around L.A., and he's great. He's a great singer and a great cat. I'm going to play you one with Rick singing now. Rick was an amazing cat, so let me, uh, excuse me while I... I was right 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 right. Hold on. I don't have to be... Rick Lancelot singing... Cause somebody is weak You don't have to love me when you want it Cause 
clouds, I watch the fall. I didn't have to watch them all alone. And when someone said to me, I didn't have to tell them I was wrong. You Wolfgang. Um, I'm just going to do the two songs because they're all kind of long. We have they're all extended stuff and, and stuff. So if you dig them at all, I can post some more. I've got about nine demos that we did, um, and all kinds of stuff. But um, and so that was Rick Lancelot singing on that. And man, I treasure these guys. I treasure that time I spent with them. I love this band. I wish something would have happened with it. Um, we had kind of everything going for us, but it just never got off the ground. I mean, having Bill Graham as your manager, Jesus Christ. So so that's it for today. Um, that's my playing for today. It's vicarious through um, my Wayback Machine. Um, have a fabulous day, everybody, uh, as best you can. Uh, again, thinking of everybody out there who's sacrificing relaxing days and, and working in their garden to go save lives. Um, the remarkable people and, and the people that are doing all they can just to keep the, the kids educated, to keep the trash picked up, to keep the stores stocked as best they can, uh, to work the fields. I mean, so many are putting themselves in harm's way to make sure that we can stay alive. Um, so uh, take good care and I will see you tomorrow. And uh, hopefully uh, th this guy will be... Uh, maybe doing some yard work for me and I can sit up here and relax. So take good care. Talk to you tomorrow.